I brought this hat, which is called Lukomo in Mo. I got this uh, artifact by my grandma was making this hat. She was selling these hats, so she decided to give me one. So that's this is how I got this hat. Uh, this represent uh, the Hmong male guy because like this is where we go. We we used to wear on like this. We wear like this, so it's like we wear on uh, to celebrate and stuff. And we used to go uh, to talk to a girl. If you want a girlfriend, you can wear this and go talk to them. This is important because my grandma, she took time and effort to make this hat just for me. So it, it really is really important. Uh, the design, it's important because like it represents the our clan, like I'm a Tao, so I had the blue and blue and black. So and then these flowers, as you can see right here, they're not really doing anything, it just make it more beautiful on the hat. It connect because it tell this hat tell us who's in our family, like who's in our like our family, yeah. And then this represent like it tell us like this is in the Tao family and our clan is the Tao. And then that's pretty much it. It is a Hmong dress. Um this one is a little bit more traditional. It's not very modernized. Um and you can tell that the patterns are actually very plain. And yeah, a lot of the Hmong dresses that I've worn look a lot like this. Or, and a lot, a lot of the ones I've seen look very similar to this one. So. This is my mother's, of course. But with my family, we get, we always buy a new outfit every two years or something because, you know, we're always growing out of our, um, out of our outfits and there's always a new style coming out every year, so. This artifact, this dress, means so much to me, but of course it's for my mom, so anything really for my mom means a lot to me because I think it's definitely, um, this dress symbolizes a culture that's been passed down and on and on and on and on. And you just, you just wear it around the waist and just like a regular dress and you would wear it during the Hmong New Year. I think that it makes me an indiv individual because it was given to me by my mother. And it's, I mean, even if there's another person who has this dress, it wasn't given to them by my, my mother. My name is Demonte. I'm an educational intern at the Kitty Anderson Youth Science Center at the Science Museum. This artifact I brought today is a Squadron Blue Retro 13s that came out 16 years ago. How did you get this artifact? Well, I ordered this artifact offline because a lot of people be too thirsty to get the shoes. Uh, at MOA or at any other mall. This, this, this artifact represents how I dress and my style. You know, it just, just represents me how I like to wear J's and stuff. Why did you choose this artifact? I choose this artifact because I like the style and, it, and, it, and it's unique in its own way from any other pair of shoes or any kind of other J's. It makes me an individual because back then when I was younger, I didn't have no, uh, I really wasn't getting no J's until like, until I hit high school and stuff. Then since, then since I started getting the J's, a lot of people start copping them because they see me in them. So you can have some Martin and some O, but still, but still, but still, you could bring some in. Like, like say if you from like Mung, you bring some, some, like a hat, a culture hat in. It doesn't have to be the same t to like the, like the shoes I bring in, and so basically, we we uh, pairing modern stuff together and stuff like in the past and bringing it in together as a uh, as a community and, and unity.